All right, so just a quick video. A lot of people have been asking me about the Showtime, Vinny, Bellingham and Rodri, who we have here on this side of the game plan. A lot's going to depend on whether you're playing Rodri as a kind of... I wouldn't play him as a single pivot. That's the first thing. And for this build, I'm probably going to go with something like this here. Um, I'm going to get his defending up, obviously, as high as I possibly can. But once he has his tackling at about 92, 95 defensive engagement... I'd probably try and get his speed up a little bit better. Because I know that 85 is kind of the, the cut point for the speed here. I think 85 is more than enough for this Rodri. Especially if I'm playing him with a double pivot. Uh, get his physical contact up as well. So we're talking about 90 physical contact, 85 speed, 95 stamina. We'll probably pop two more on to defensive here. And then we'll probably throw the booster on for his defense. To get his tackling up, his aggression up everything else up a little bit better, right? If you want to throw that booster on him. Now, it depends, right, in the booster slot. Um, but 85 speed is more than enough. If I'm playing him beside somebody like Vieira, I'm not too worried about anything other than getting... Like, yes, 85 type possession, 85 low speed, low pass, 85 lofted pass is more than enough. Those are kind of the stats that I'm going for in a double pivot. If you're playing Rodri as a single pivot, I would definitely increase his def defense stats a little bit. But I have used Xabi Alonso for quite a while. And that's what I would try to replicate there with Rodri. That Rodri is going to be a more defensive option than that. Now, also on top of that as well, if you wanted to add one more into defending there, it's going to take you four points. But then you could save your booster and use the booster to get a 90 speed build of him. Um, which I know a lot of people are asking me about that you could do that. But I would probably pump, pump in a few into acceleration. That's the one weakness that this guy has here um, into his acceleration there. Uh, and that would probably be it then. Like where you're going to have, what, 79 acceleration, 85 speed, 90 physical contact. And then obviously give him the booster to upgrade his aggression and his acceleration around that. Player skills, we've gone heading and slide and tackle. Yeah, that's probably all you'd need. He has one touch pass. Everything like that is perfect. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty decent card, man. For Jude Bellingham, especially in this system, I'm probably going for more attack and build Bellingham. So not too focused on the shooting, even though he can shoot. Not too focused on the low pass, even though he can pass. But I am probably going to try and get his ball control and tight possession up. I'm going to get definitely going to get his balance and his acceleration up for the build that we're going to use here. And huge attack and awareness there. This is specifically for a box-to-box -box that is going to be more attacking than defending. That's kind of what we're going for here. Defense, I'm going to go 85 aggression. Um, so I think that's 7 points into that. That's going to get us 85 aggression. Probably pop one more on for the tackling as a box-to-box. -box. One of my favorite players in the game to use um, at the moment is the main man, Valverde. So that is probably where I would go with that. He doesn't really have a big engine on him, and that's the biggest problem here. 85 speed is going to be more than enough for a box-to-box. -box. 91 acceleration, 92 balance. Maybe you don't need 91 acceleration. Maybe we take that off and obviously boost it up another way if we want to. Um, but I think that that's a good card, man, if you're looking for a kind of a more attacking-based player because you can pop two more into low pass there. 90 type possession, that's kind of where we would go. I, I think that's a good card for his attacking. You've got still good solid defense. You've got all his defensive capabilities, 85 apart from defensive awareness. 85 speed is still more than enough. And then last but not least, we have Vinny Jr., right? So Vinny Jr. is a bit more of a different one. I would say that the best version of Vinny Jr. is a striker, even though he's a prolific winger. He's going to have 90 finishing off the rip. All of these builds are obviously with the champs. You don't need to focus anything more once you get to 90 type possession. That's going to be higher, 95 ball control. 85 acceleration and speed. We'll go with that and that. That's going to give us a 90 build and an 89 build. I'd try to get the balance up because of this card. So I would probably go that with him there. That's probably a center forward build that I think is the best for him. He's got the balance. He's got the speed and the acceleration. Kick and power would probably go a little bit more with him as well. And the shooting... Mm. I don't know, man, with the shooting, like, because he's not going to get physical contact, so you don't need to waste that on him, you know, 80, 85 kick and power would be nice, but it's not a necessity, dribbling a little bit higher would be nice, but it's not an ex a necessity, there's nowhere else really to put these stats, man, apart from, you know, 90 attack and awareness, 95 type possession and balance would be nice, if you wanted to go that route, you could do that, because you'll obviously be able to train him up exactly where you want him to be, give one into attack and awareness to override his prolific winger, um, double booster, we gave him the Fantasista here for the ball control, dribbling and finishing, and then scissors, feint, and heel trick. Again, they're just optional. You don't really need them. Double touch, flip, flap, soul control is all he has. 
yeah, it's a kind of an Mbappe light type card. Very, very decent uh, for him. The only other version of Mbappe you could go with is if you took out um, a little bit of his shooting. Now, you'll still have enough in shooting with, like, what, 85 if you're going to be using him as a winger, right? That'll free you up about six points, but that would be if you're using him out left wing here. Like, if you were to do this and go a little bit more meta central. So, obviously, you could, you could take out one of these if you wanted, and you have Vinny as an overhanging left winger. And then I would just literally just max out his uh, his speed. That's all I would do. Two more into speed. Very similar builds though. 95 speed with that one. So that's it man for these versions of these cards here.